boss to the eyes and not man. Get the long stroke, give it the long stroke. The artist you're about to hear, I would describe him as the sound. No, I was gonna say the sound of sex, but that's <laughs> definitely not it. I would say he is the Frank Ocean's next generation. Oh no, the next generation's Frank Ocean. So that is the caliber of artist we're dealing with now. He's this is his uh -huh. debut single. He's an Austra Melbourne Australian artist. Yeah, as far as I know. <sighs> He's so good. I can't wait to listen to this. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. Next mm. Generation's Frank Ocean describes it well. Yeah, it's, this is how I feel. I mean, we've been blessed to hear some of his previous work, which hasn't actually been an official release. This is his first official release, so we're hyped as fuck for it. And let's fucking go. Let's get it. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh damn. Now I won't be able to focus for the rest of the song. trying to do anything crazy with his vocals that's just him creating like a really medium sort of sexy feel jam that's a great point he's not even like trying to like because as you notice as well his voice wasn't raised as much as the instrumental because the bass was sort of the lead to that song with the clicks and he was kind of just like flowing with it he wasn't like he wasn't key. trying to pitch his yeah, voice up or down he wasn't trying to be the key point of that track he was just trying to blend in with everything else so he's not even trying to show us that he's like all of that. It's uh, what I feel from when I listen to Rastafari. I've, we haven't heard a lot from a couple wow. tracks. First official here. It, it's like this quiet, confident exusion of confidence and sensuality that that really just emanates deeply from his voice. Damn. That's how I would describe him. Damn. And he, his combination with Pania. So yeah, Panea there. She, I didn't know she was on the track and she came in beautifully. She she suited what was already created. Like she just blended fucking. Yeah, you guys so well work very shit. well together. Your mm. your voices harmonize well. And uh t two Australian artists just killing it. Such a jam. It's such a feel good jam. I already want to listen to it again. It's something that you'd like you put in the bedroom, you put in the background. You can you can do a lot of shit with this. Look. 
There's no... Look. This guy, Rastafari, he, um, he represents what I believe the future of R&B, hip-hop can be in the next generation coming through beyond the guys like The Weeknd and the Frank Oceans. And yeah, we're comparing this tiny artist to these lofty figures, but I think it's warranted and I think uh, he, he's, he might have next. I just feel like he's got the voice. He's still obviously going to be learning more about like control and expanding that. But once he finds a sound, because mm. I feel like right now he's inspired by a lot of different things or maybe it's just making what sort of is in front of him. But once he gets to a certain point where he has the creative freedom, money, etc. to craft his own sound, oh, shit. that shit's going to be Because this is going off just raw talent and just, mm. some, just some real quality underground producers and, and mixers and, you know, just wait till they get in Abbey Road. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, wanna Look, I'm excited. I heard a good lyric today from Ghostface Killer. Do you want to hear it? Please. Yo, took a 50 second piss, felt just like I was nothing. That's it. It's, it's fire, bro. It's fire. When That's you have just, that I, big, I, long piss, how, how that you is can that relevant frame it? to uh, what's going on right Nothing. now? Nothing. I just remembered it and I thought it was funny. Look, Rastafari, links in the description, and Pania as well. Go check him out. Hell yeah. They got next, and we are very excited to keep reviewing the music, and we will, because they're dope as fuck. Yeah, this is a fucking, this is a fucking jam. I really hope this keeps doing well. Fuck with it, with Jungle <laughs> Beats. You should call your next, your EP or album, The Long Stroke, because a lot of motherfuckers going to be doing a long stroke to this shit. The Long Stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're going to have... Gonna have fun editing that one. <laughs> the intro is just gonna be 20 seconds of long strokes. Give it. Long strokes, bitch. <laughs>